Iceland, a land of fire and ice, where ancient sagas come to life amidst breathtaking landscapes. From cascading waterfalls to rugged volcanoes, this island nation is a treasure trove of natural wonders and rich history. In this episode, we'll dive deep into the heart of Iceland, exploring its unique geological features, vibrant cities, and the captivating stories woven into its very fabric. From the vibrant streets of Reykjavik to the ethereal glow of the Northern Lights, there's something for everyone in this mesmerizing realm. So, if you're a wanderlust-driven soul, an avid adventurer, or simply someone yearning to uncover the mysteries of this extraordinary land, you're in for a treat. Geography. Covering an expansive 103,000 125 square kilometers, Iceland stands as the world's 18th largest island country. Surprisingly, despite its size, it's one of the most sparsely populated places on Earth. The rugged terrain, shaped by the northern mid-Atlantic ridge, lends an otherworldly charm to this nation. Iceland boasts more glacial coverage than all of continental Europe combined. These icy giants are a testament to the raw power of nature. Would you believe that only 1% of Iceland is cultivated? A staggering 20% is designated for grazing. The island has seen a significant loss of woodland over the years. But fear not, an ambitious reforestation program is currently underway, aiming to restore the island's natural beauty. Imagine a time when lush birch forests covered nearly half the island. Today, we find these ancient woodlands reduced to mere patches, with Halormstaduskogur and Vaglaskogur standing as proud reminders of Iceland's arboreal past. Did you know that Iceland is not just one island, but a collection of 36? Each of them adds its own unique flavor to the country's diverse landscape. Now, let's talk rivers. The longest one here is Tours, stretching an impressive 200 and 30 kilometers or 143 miles across this remarkable terrain. Nature enthusiasts, take note. Iceland is home to three national parks, Fatnagical, Snæfellsjökull, and Thingvellir. Each one offers a glimpse into the country's rich biodiversity and geological wonders. As you might expect, the majority of Iceland's population resides along the coast, particularly in the southwest. Venture further inland, and you'll find the central highlands, where human habitation is a rarity. From rolling plateaus to majestic mountain peaks, Iceland's terrain is a masterpiece crafted by Mother Nature herself. Fjords and bays carve their way into the coast, creating a landscape that is as dynamic as it is awe-inspiring. Ah, Reykjavik, the beating heart of Iceland. Here, the climate is shaped by the North Atlantic Current, offering temperate conditions. Summers are cool and damp, while winters, though relatively mild, are known for their brisk winds. Culture and traditions. From ancient sagas to innovative art forms, this land of fire and ice has a story to tell. To truly understand Icelandic culture, we must turn back the pages of history. Iceland was settled by Norsemen, seeking refuge from persecution in Norway. This pivotal moment in history laid the foundation for the distinct cultural identity we see today. The early Icelanders' resilience and connection to their roots continue to influence the nation's values and traditions. Iceland takes immense pride in preserving its historical legacy. This dedication is evident in the meticulous care of ancient manuscripts and artifacts. The tangible link to their past is a source of inspiration for modern Icelanders, driving their artistic expressions, culinary delights, and even the way they communicate. The juxtaposition of ancient Norse culture with the contemporary tech-savvy Icelander is a testament to the nation's adaptability. This blending of history and modernity creates a vibrant, dynamic society with a unique perspective on global issues. Now, let's delve into some of the key factors that have shaped Icelandic culture over the years. The economic landscape has played a pivotal role in Iceland's cultural evolution. From the challenges of early settlements to the economic boom of recent years, these shifts have influenced everything from lifestyle choices to artistic pursuits. Iceland's embrace of cutting-edge technology has catapulted it onto the global stage. 
the country's innovation in renewable energy, for instance, not only impacts the environment, but also shapes the mindset of its people towards sustainability and progress. The stunning and diverse landscapes of Iceland have left an indelible mark on its culture. The rugged terrain, volcanoes, and geysers have inspired art, literature, and a deep connection to nature. The harsh climate has forged a unique sense of fashion and lifestyle. Practicality meets style in Icelandic fashion, reflecting the need to navigate through the ever-changing weather conditions. Iceland's dedication to gender equality is renowned worldwide. This commitment has not only empowered women, but has also significantly influenced societal norms and values. The Icelandic language, rooted in Old Norse, is a living testament to the country's historical ties. Its preservation is not just a linguistic achievement, but a cultural stronghold. From ancient Norse rituals to modern-day celebrations, Iceland's cultural heritage is as diverse as its breathtaking landscapes. Let's uncover the fascinating traditions that have shaped this island nation. Our journey begins with Bondedeker, or Husband's Day, a unique celebration that goes beyond marital status. On the 25th of January, or the first day of the fourth month in the ancient Norse calendar, Icelanders come together to honor their male partners. It's a day for husbands, boyfriends, and fianxias alike. A wonderful reminder to cherish the special men in our lives. Next up, we have Thoroblot, a tradition rooted in Iceland's ancient pagan beliefs. Originally dedicated to honoring Norse gods, it's now a midwinter feast celebrated between January 21 and February 19. During Thoroblot, Icelanders raise their glasses to the old deities, connecting with their rich cultural heritage. This tradition was even revived in the 19th century, demonstrating its enduring significance. As winter envelopes the land, Kondodagr, or Women's Day, emerges as a counterpart to Vondadagr. On February 24th, Icelandic men pull out all the stops to pamper the women in their lives. Whether it's hosting a special dinner, presenting flowers, or serving up coffee, it's a heartfelt celebration of the feminine spirit. Now let's talk about the festive spirit that permeates Iceland during Christmas. Rather than a single day, Christmas here spans 12 magical nights. The climax is Twelfth Night, an extravaganza featuring bonfires, fireworks, and revelry that stretches till dawn. It's a testament to the warmth and joy that this holiday season brings to the Icelandic people. If you have a sweet tooth, then Boludegr, or Cream Bun Day, is sure to delight your taste buds. Associated with the pre-Lenten carnival festival of Fastelov, this day is all about indulging in delectable cream buns, generously filled with cream and jam, and often adorned with a drizzle of chocolate. A true treat for the senses. Finally, we cap off our journey with Jordager, or Beer Day, a celebration that resonates deeply with Iceland's history. After enduring a 74-year-long beer ban from 1915 to 1989, Icelanders now commemorate the lifting of this prohibition on March 1st. It's a day to raise a glass and toast to newfound freedoms, marking an important milestone in the nation's cultural evolution. Cuisine Iceland is a land of traditions, and one of the most intriguing aspects of its culture is its traditional cuisine. The Icelandic national food, known as Thorometer, is something truly special. It's typically enjoyed during the ancient Nordic month of Thori, which falls in January and February, as a way to pay homage to their old culture. Thorometer features a variety of dishes, most of which are made from offal or the less commonly used parts of animals. You've got things like Kretzbunger, which are pickled ram's testicles. Yep, you heard that right. And if that doesn't pique your interest, there's putrefied shark, which is, well, exactly what it sounds like, fermented shark. It's definitely an acquired taste. Then there are singed sheep heads and even singed sheep head jam. Talk about nose to tail eating. For a matter also includes delicacies like black pudding, liver sausage, similar to Scottish haggis, and dried fish, often made from cod or haddock. These dishes may seem unusual to some, but they're a testament to Iceland's deep-rooted culinary traditions. 
One of Iceland's main culinary pillars is the fishing industry. Given its abundant coastal waters, seafood plays a significant role in Icelandic cuisine. Some traditional dishes that showcase this maritime bounty include gravlax, which is smoked salmon marinated in salt and dill. It's a refreshing and flavorful dish that's beloved by locals and visitors alike. Another must-try is hangikjot, a delicacy made from smoked lamb. It has a distinct smoky flavor that will transport your taste buds straight to Iceland's rugged landscapes. And then there's sluter, sausages made from sheep entrails. These sausages might not be everyone's cup of tea, but they're a testament to Icelanders' resourcefulness in using every part of the animal. Moving away from the savory, let's talk about something sweet. One of Iceland's most popular treats is skær, a yogurt-like dairy product made from cultured skim milk. It's creamy, slightly tart, and incredibly versatile. You can enjoy it on its own or with various toppings, making it a perfect snack or dessert. And no culinary tour of Iceland would be complete without mentioning Brennivin. This Icelandic liquor is made from potatoes and caraway seeds. It's often called the Black Death due to its potent flavor and strong kick. If you're feeling adventurous, be sure to give it a try. Let's uncover the most famous places that make this Nordic island a bucket list destination for travelers worldwide. Mosfellsberg. This picturesque town is nestled just 12 kilometers east of Reykjavik, making it a convenient 15-minute drive from the heart of the capital. Mosfellsberg is like a hidden gem for nature enthusiasts. The Lyravogur Cove, a part of the stunning Kalafjordur Fjord, is the heart of this area. It's where three rivers, Lyravogs, Kaldikvizl, and Varm, gracefully meet, creating a scene that's straight out of a postcard. The town has made significant efforts to develop recreational areas for both residents and visitors alike. From hiking to skiing, and even hunting and fishing for trout and char in the small lakes, there's no shortage of things to do here. Mostelsberg is often referred to as the Green Town, and for good reason. Thermal activity blesses this area, giving rise to a number of impressive greenhouses. Since as far back as 1933, the town has been supplying the capital area with natural hot water for heating, swimming pools, and more. It's a sustainable oasis right on the doorstep of Reykjavik. The rugged landscape of Mostelsberg is dominated by these majestic peaks, with 80% of the district lying over 100 meters above sea level. Ulfarsfell, Mostel, Helgafell, and Reykjafell are some of the standouts, and they offer fantastic opportunities for short hikes with breathtaking views. A must-visit spot in Mostelsberg is Lake Hafrvat. It's a local favorite for swimming and kayaking, offering a tranquil escape surrounded by nature's beauty. The water here is crisp and clear, making it a refreshing getaway, especially during the warmer months. If you're interested in Icelandic culture and history, Mostelsberg has you covered. Gljafrestin, a museum dedicated to Nobel Prize laureate Halder Laxness, provides a fascinating glimpse into the country's literary legacy. And for those looking for a more hands-on experience, Laxen's Farm offers horseback riding tours through the stunning countryside. Before you leave, make sure to check out Glafoskos, a charming art and design village. Here, you'll find a long-standing yarn store and local craft shops filled with beautifully crafted items, perfect for bringing home a piece of this vibrant community. Hafen. Situated near the majestic Horn of Turder Fjord, this town is like something out of a fairy tale. But what truly sets it apart is its proximity to Vatnajkull, Europe's largest ice cap by volume. Imagine waking up to the sight of this glacial wonder every day. The name Hafn itself means harbor, and that's exactly what it is, a bustling fishing port surrounded on three sides by the sea. Stretching along the southeastern shoreline, Hafn boasts long, sandy beaches, making it a paradise for beach lovers. The landscape here is constantly changing. Shoals and glacial rivers crisscross the area, creating ever-shifting lagoons and sand reefs. It's like nature's own art canvas. And let's not forget the small islands that dot the coastline, adding to the town's charm. 
the largest among them, Mickley, is a must-see, followed by Crocolter and Heller. They each have their own unique character and are perfect for a little exploration well. Hoffen is not just about the views, it's also a gateway to some incredible adventures. If you're a foodie, you're in for a treat. The lobster restaurants here are renowned, and you'll want to savor every bite. But the real magic happens when you venture out into the kingdom of Vatnajkol. Glacial lagoons like Jokulsurlan with their floating icebergs are like scenes from another world. And for the thrill seekers, there are glacial hikes and snowmobile tours that will get your adrenaline pumping. And if you're lucky, you might even get to explore one of the ever-changing ice caves, a true bucket list experience. Hagens, with just around 137 inhabitants, Hagens is a close-knit community that's part of the Ruskogstrand coastal area. It's the southernmost gem in the municipality of Dalvikerbeek. Life here revolves around fishing and fish processing, which gives it an authentic down-to-earth vibe. But don't be fooled by its size. Hogging seamlessly combines a touch of luxury with the rustic beauty of the surrounding countryside. It's home to the oldest whale watching company in all of Iceland, with an impressive 27 years of experience. Imagine being out on the water, surrounded by majestic creatures. It's an experience you won't forget. After an exhilarating adventure with the whales, make sure to head over to the renowned Bakkel Bar. This place is a hidden culinary gem. From deep fried bacalao, with crispy fries to the mouth-watering bacalao pizza, they've got something for every palate. For those who love the great outdoors, Hoggins has you covered. Right in the heart of the village, you'll find a charming camping area. Picture waking up to the fresh Icelandic air, surrounded by stunning views. And if you're up for some relaxation, head over to the hot tubs by the sea in Sandvikur Fjara. It's become a must-do for guests visiting Hagens. Picture yourself soaking in warm, rejuvenating waters with the waves crashing nearby. It's a piece of paradise. Now, for all you hikers out there, you're in for a treat. I highly recommend a hike up to Thorvald's Deller Valley. It's a bit of a climb, but trust me, the payoff is beyond worth it. The stillness, the safety, and the jaw-dropping view will leave you breathless. Flady. As you step foot on Flady, you'll be greeted by a serene haven in the middle of Breidefjordur Bay. The island stretches about two kilometers long and a kilometer wide, predominantly flat, hence the name Flady, which means flat island in Icelandic. It's a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, with sheep grazing peacefully and seabirds busily going about their day. Just be sure to watch out for those feasty arctic turns. Back in 1172, a monastery stood tall, a beacon of knowledge perched on the highest point of the island. In the 19th century, Flady thrived as a cultural and artistic hub, even holding town status granted by the Danish crown in 1777. Imagine, this tiny island was once bustling with activity. Over the years, Flady's population has seen its fair share of shifts. Once heavily populated, it's now a seasonal habitation, with only five brave souls calling it home in winter. But come summer, this place springs to life as second homeowners, domestic visitors, and tourists flock to this idyllic retreat. Now let's take a stroll through this charming island. The single road leads us from the ferry dock to the old village, where beautifully restored, traditionally painted houses whisper tales of the island's original inhabitants. The old harbor is still a vital hub, where sheep make their journey to the mainland for processing. Flady is not just a feast for the eyes, but also for the soul. The church, built in 1926, is adorned with captivating scenes of island life, a masterpiece crafted by Spanish painter Baltasar Samper in the 1960s. And here's a fun fact. Flady houses the oldest and smallest library in Iceland, established in 1864. It was once home to the legendary Flady Book, a medieval Icelandic manuscript of epic proportions. Husafell. Husafell is more than just a farm. It's a sprawling estate nestled in the Borgarfjordur region of Iceland. 
This hidden gem is not far from the famous Reykholt and Reykholtsdaler, making it a prime location for tourists seeking a taste of Icelandic beauty. What sets Husafell apart is the wide range of amenities it offers. Imagine taking a dip in a natural swimming pool or teeing off with a backdrop of breathtaking landscapes. Whether you're into camping or prefer a comfortable holiday house, Husafell's got you covered. This place is no small fry, covering an impressive 100 square kilometers. It's like having your own slice of Icelandic paradise. And speaking of paradise, let's talk about the climate. Summers here are warm and sunny, creating the perfect setting for outdoor festivities. Back in the 1960s and 1970s, Husafell was the spot for Iceland's most popular outdoor music festivals. Picture it, live music echoing against the lava fields, creating an unforgettable atmosphere. Just a stone's throw away, you'll find Barnafoss and Ronfossar waterfalls, nature's own masterpieces. And if you're up for some adventure, don't miss the stunning caves of Vigilmir and Surtsheller. Hikers, this place is a dream come true. Husafell offers a plethora of trails, from leisurely strolls to challenging treks. And if you're feeling a bit more ambitious, organized tours will take you to glaciers like Erikshukol and Langekol. Husafell was once a vital stopover for weary travelers making their way across Iceland. It provided food and shelter, offering a much-needed respite along the journey. Ronfossar, where water emerges from a lava field, creating a mesmerizing sight over a kilometer stretch. And the birch wood here, they grow up to an impressive four meters. In the 19th century, Husafell was home to a colony of artists, including the renowned Icelandic painter Johannes Scarvel. Today, the talented sculptor Paul Gudmundsson carries on the artistic legacy, creating stunning faces carved from local stone. Let's dive into some captivating facts about this enchanting island that will leave you truly amazed. 60% of Iceland's population lives in the capital city. Did you know that a whopping 60% of Iceland's population calls the capital city Reykjavik home? Reykjavik. Not only is it the largest urban area in the country, but it's also where the majority of Iceland's population resides. This city is a vibrant hub of culture, history, and innovation. From the stunning architecture to the lively streets, Reykjavik truly is a sight to behold. You might be wondering, why is it that such a high percentage of Icelanders choose to live in Reykjavik? Well, one major factor is the accessibility to resources and opportunities. The city offers a wide range of educational institutions, job opportunities, and amenities that make it an attractive place to call home. While Reykjavik steals the spotlight, it's important to note that not everyone in Iceland resides in the capital. In fact, many Icelanders live in smaller villages and towns along the breathtaking coastal areas. These communities, nestled amidst Iceland's stunning natural beauty, have their own unique charm and character. This vast, rugged expanse of Iceland is almost uninhabited due to its incredibly harsh conditions. With its challenging terrain and extreme weather, it's no wonder why very few people call this area home. Nevertheless, the highlands hold a special place in Iceland's identity, showcasing the raw, untamed beauty of this incredible nation. Beer was banned in Iceland until recently. Back in the day, Iceland had some pretty strict rules about alcohol consumption. In 1915, a prohibition law was passed, which not only restricted the sale and consumption of hard liquor, but also completely banned beer. Can you believe it? For nearly three quarters of a century, beer was off the menu. Fast forward to 1989 and cue the celebrations. That's the year when beer was finally legalized again in Iceland. You can imagine the countrywide parties that followed. It was like the whole nation was raising their glasses to newfound freedom. And guess what? They even have a special day dedicated to celebrating this momentous event. It's called Beer Day, and it's a day where Icelanders come together to toast to their right to enjoy a cold one. Since the ban was lifted, Iceland has seen a craft beer revolution. The industry has skyrocketed, and now you can find an incredible variety of unique, 
locally brewed beers all across the country. From rich stouts to refreshing pilsners, Icelandic breweries have really pushed the boundaries of flavor. Some even incorporate local ingredients like Arctic thyme and Icelandic moss, giving their brews a truly unique twist. One of the best places to see the northern lights, rhythms of vibrant colors dancing across the night sky, painting a celestial masterpiece. That's the northern lights for you, and Iceland offers a front row seat to this breathtaking performance. You might be wondering, why Iceland? Well, it turns out, Iceland's unique location near the Arctic Circle makes it an ideal spot for witnessing the Northern Lights. Between September and March, when the skies are at their clearest and the nights are the longest, you're in for a show you'll never forget. Iceland's diverse landscapes add an extra layer of magic to the experience. Imagine standing amidst rugged volcanoes, glistening glaciers, and pristine fjords, all while the northern lights put on their celestial ballet overhead. The northern lights, scientifically known as aurora borealis, occur when charged particles from the sun collide with gas molecules in Earth's atmosphere. This collision creates those stunning hues we all know and love. In Iceland, with its minimal light pollution and crisp Arctic air, you get a front row seat to this cosmic ballet. It's like witnessing the secret dance of the universe. Here's something truly special. The Northern Lights hold deep cultural significance for Icelanders. In Icelandic folklore, they're believed to be the spirits of their ancestors putting on a celestial show. Imagine being a part of a tradition that spans generations. And hey, if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of the lights while soaking in one of Iceland's geothermal hot springs. Talk about a surreal experience. And there you have it, folks, a whirlwind journey through the breathtaking wonders and fascinating culture of Iceland. From its stunning landscapes to its rich history, this country truly is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be explored. I hope this video has ignited your curiosity about this incredible land of fire and ice. If you enjoyed our virtual tour, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content about diverse and enchanting destinations around the world.